Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. What can I say? I'm still on cloud nine from last night episode of Star. So I'm just going to put a disclaimer right there. If you are not an Alex and Noah fan, this might not be a video for you. Because that's pretty much all I'm going to talk about throughout the duration of this video. It's going to be an ode to them. It, that's just what it is. For those of us who have been pro, you know, Nalix for a long time, last night was like our episode. So I'm doing this for all of us. So if this is your first time ever watching one of my videos, welcome. If you are a recurring star family member, it's good to see you again. And you know how I do. I just, I get right into it. I'm so happy. The way that they uh, wrote last night's episode. Um, the first scene with Alex and Noah was at the record label where the girls were going in, where all the acts were going in to um, get their uniforms and, you know, costumes, set lists, and all of this stuff for the upcoming regional tour that they're having. And you saw Noah over there, you know, messing with his laptop, and he called Alex over to listen to some of the music. Uh, he wanted her, you know, wanted her opinion about it. And so, you know, she kind of gave Star and Simone a look before her behind walked on over there and you could tell there was no resistance there was no so she was like real easy going i was like okay i like how they starting you know I like how they starting this and so we see them over there vibing you know with the song and then you know you see carlotta comes out and she was like hey pretty much that song is already done why are you even over there you know doing what you're doing and so it just went to show that you know that um that he really values alex's opinion um about his music um so fast forward the next scene we see from them, you know, they're at the party. Um, the grand opening, or well, the grand reopening of Carlotta Salon. And I was going to do my video right after the show aired. And I'm glad that I did because I do like to look at other people's opinions and pers perspectives about what they thought about the, the episode and things of that nature. And you can tell, there, you know, people that either A, wanted Alex and Derek to be together, um, and B... They just wanted Alex to suffer for the duration of the series for the decision that, you know, that she made. And the reason why I say that is because the scene where she went to go speak to, to Derek. And when she got up and she saw, you know, his leg move. Because you remember, Alex did not know that um, Derek had any feeling in his legs. So, you know, she was just like, like, you know, like she was happy. And then... You know, she got emotional. You know, she saw Noah and then she ran off to the wall or whatever. And so many people were chiming in on that particular scene. And they were like, oh, no, you know, don't cry now. You know, she jealous because he got somebody else. And, and so I had to go, once the, the, the episode ended, I had to go back and rewatch that part like two times. Because I'm like, I know I, I heard verbatim what she said. And there was no jealousy. There was no envy. She really just want her and Derek to be okay, whatever okay may be. Maybe they would never be friends, but to just be cordial or whatever when they see each other. And so, in the beginning, you could tell that Star and Cotton believed that she was upset that Derek had another girl. You know, she she a whole, oh, I can smell that a mile away. You know, they ain't doing nothing. He can't move his hips or whatever. And when she was like, no, you know, he can move. You know, he, he can move. And so, she was like, this whole time, I had been blaming myself for his pain she said yeah you know i take responsibility for what i did but i didn't kill his father and i wasn't driving the car that hit him i just like someone else and that was the first time we ever heard alex just come out and say how she felt about noah as far as liking him in the the episode last week she did state that she wanted something um she wanted to have something um with him prior to the kiss or what have you um with the uh uh, showcase. Thought to fell for that word to come out. The showcase. But it was just refreshing just to hear her say that and Star kind of gave a look like, you know, wow, like she really do, you know, like him. And, you know, that's when Star started to think about, you know, her situation with her mother. And so when they got to the RV, my whole, the whole time I was watching this episode, I'm like, just please, please let them have an honest, some honest dialogue before this sex scene take place because I would hate for them to have sex and never deal with whatever is going on between them two um, emotionally and so I was even glad that Alex was the the one that was kind of leading that conversation you know when she made the statement that you know um, I knew what was going on between us I just I ignored it because I didn't think it was fair to Derek 
And then she stated that, you know, she knew exactly, you know, how Noah made her feel. Um, and he and he asked, you know, how how is that? And she said happy, which we all know she wasn't happy for a long time. And I was on Twitter and someone made a, a, a tweet and they included Ryan Destiny in it. And they made a statement like, you know, um, I bet the situation with Noah never would have happened if nothing ever if, if Derek wasn't in a wheelchair and she was like no um she said hmm she was like I would have to disagree with that and I was and I like the way she said it because it's like it's, it had really nothing to do with his injury or him being in a wheelchair it was a heart thing it was a heart condition and sometimes your heart just wants who it wants and it may surprise you you know who your heart is 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 leading you toward so I like how she said and I like how she took responsibility for her role in that, you know, because Noah was like, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I apologize, um, uh, for messing things up with you and Derek, and you know, her, her whole thing was, you know, you weren't on stage by yourself, or backstage, you know, I'm responsible, you know, as well, and it was so cute because I don't do I the whole series of Star first season all the way up to last night, I haven't, I didn't see. Um, Alex smiled so hard, like you saw, like all the teeth in her mouth. I'm like, just on cloud nine, they played that that part so so well. And even with Noah, you know, like just making sure that this is something that she wanted to do, um, and and all of that like that. And I was like, you know, it it was just 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 a really really cute exchange. And even when she was like, you know, uh, I don't want this to be a secret, you know, especially not with Take Three, you know, their family. And Noah, I think surprised her. He was like, okay, we'll tell everyone. And she was like, okay, you know, yeah, like we, we going to tell everybody, you know, about this. So that was like, I was so happy. I I, I was just so happy with, with the whole entire situation, even though I think Star Y'all made us wait, you know, two episodes too long for this to happen. However, you know, I I understand. I understand. But I can say as far as being a, a Nalix, you know, supporter, I am so happy how this thing played out and, and the fact that it really demonstrated because some people were saying, oh, it's just a physical thing. It ain't nothing like that. And I was just so, um, just so glad, you know, how it was written because if it was physical, they would have had sex a long time ago. So I like how they, I just like how they did the entire, um, the entire thing. And even though they didn't have many scenes together, the scenes that they did have in last night episode just solidified that this is something that's real. And it's something that, you know, I hope that they really go forward with this storyline because there are so many angles and so many ways that they can take it. Um, and even reading people, you know, people, people's responses and people opinions. And one thing I can say, I'm so glad that we are not each other's judge and jury, because when I tell you the hate is real, <laughs> the hate is real. I'm like, you know, and, and I look at the ages of the characters and I'm like, you know, Alex plays a 19 year old. How many people are with the same person, you know, that you were with at 19 compared to now in your life? And I say, you know, I just, you know, people don't want them to be together. People want people hoping that Noah dog are out, you know, that, you know, she reap what she sow. She, and I'm like, you know, we will, we, we will reap what we sow, you know, but a lot of times, you know, when those seeds begin to, to, to rise up, it may not, you may not get exactly what you sow. It may be, you're going to get, get it another way. And who knows? I don't know what they're going to do with, with the characters or what they're going to do with the storyline or the relationship, but I'm just glad that it's real. And, and it's so real that it, it has people like picking sides. Like I either want her to be with Derry or I want her to be with, with Noah. And I just think for me personally, what really got me feeling the, the whole thing with her and Noah, it was just like, it was magic. It was like pure magic. It was pure, you know, just, uh, it was just, uh, like magic watching them, you know, and it's like her and Derek, it was almost kind of boring. They were, they were cute together, but really the, the depth and really like what's needed to maintain a strong, healthy relationship, how we're building each other, how you may see certain faults in me that you can call out and that we can work these things out together. Like with Derek, I didn't see that. And I, and I always refer back to when he found out she was stealing and he brought it to her attention. He laid that bracelet, you know, on the table or whatever, she, you know, put the little brakes on the on the wheelchair, got on top of him, kissed him, and that was the end of discussion. And I'm like, and you just let that slide, bro. You ain't saying nothing else about this girl stealing, nothing else about her doing, you know, doing this crazy stuff at that time. And I'm just like, you know, I just, I'm just so happy to see how Alex and Noah 
better each other. Yeah, I know things going to happen. Yeah, I know there's going to be complications. There's going to be issues. But I'm just so happy with the way that this entire thing went down. Man, I was on cloud nine. I was happy. I was cheesing. My cheeks was hurting. I was smiling so hard because I'm like, yes, finally. She she uh takes responsibility and not only that, she's living in her she's living out her truth. She acknowledged her truth and she's living out her truth that she was able to be truthful with um with Noah and then that that last scene when she walked in and Carla was like, "You you slept here?" And she was like, "Yeah, um in the RV with Noah." Like, I don't give a this is what it is. Y'all either y'all gonna hate me, y'all either not gonna y'all not gonna like me because I'm holding the secrets in line, and y'all ain't gonna like me because I'm being truthful and honest. So I'm ready to see what this whole truthful and honest Alex gonna look like. Um, I, I'm just am. I'm I'm just I'm I'm just really happy about this whole situation. That scene was like gangster to me though, like and look dead in star face, like yeah, with Noah. And Star gave her that look, like, are you serious right now? Like Alex, like shoot, that's my man. What, what? Yeah, I know what y'all had. And that was another thing, too, that I really liked. When Noah and Alex were talking in the RV, Star name never came up. Because it was never about Star. It was never about that situation. It was about me and you. And I liked how they did that. Star should never have any bearings on what we do. Yeah, that was a situation. I understand what it was because I understand who she is. So I know what it was. However, this is about me and you. So I love that she was never she wasn't brought up in that in that conversation. Um also the snap the clapbacks on Star last night were like impeccable. Simone was giving them left I was like, all right Simone Okay, with these clapbacks. And then someone overstepped her bounds again by telling Carlotta about the whole situation that you know nothing about. You know nothing about. And you still, he was messing with both of them. No, he was sexing your sister, him and Alex's kids. So it was a big difference. Big difference. But, you know, she trying to, of course, she was trying to figure out what was going on with her sister. She really did not know, you know. They still don't know the thing about the mom. Hiel, I'm like, that, that dude sleep with everybody. I'm like, my God, my God, he just sees with every, he just sees with everybody, Lord Jesus. I'm like, Lord have mercy. And then Jackson, um, I was glad that he called somebody to come pick up Star Behind. And, you know, people really uh, assumed the worst about him when he grabbed that purse. But we see, you know, what he did. So, I'm, I'm you know, jury's still out on Jackson because we don't know too much about him. But, you know, he did a good deed last night so we gonna we gonna really really see what happened i'm definitely still interested in seeing how it's gonna work with carlotta managing both um noah and take three because it's gonna be interesting um it's gonna be interesting so I'm, I'm happy um and excited to see that now man let me tell y'all at the end when that lady came about cotton being her son's father that was like a gut punch number one wasn't expecting it number two never saw it number three never would have thought of that myself i was like what in the hell this finna be some mess but i'm just like as far as um alex and as far as noah i am excited i'm rooting for them i hope it is something they can make last for the duration of the series you, you know bring all the trouble but i know stuff gonna happen but this um we ready for it. You know, we like I said, we've been waiting a long time for this girl to get to this place. Please let us enjoy this for some time, writers. Don't, 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 don't end them soon. Let us enjoy this moment because, darn it, we waited a long behind time for it. We really, really did. I'm just, I'm just excited about it. I'm, I'm, I'm just excited about it. So, um, like I said, this video was just really about Alex and Noah. Just for us to, 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 to relish, you know, in the ambiance of that, you know, that, that chocolate goodness right there for both of them. Just, you know, black magic, just black excellence, black beauty, you know. So, um, I'm just happy about that. Y'all can comment this video a little different than my other videos. Um, but y'all can comment. Tell me what was your favorite part, um, of, of, of last night episode. Um, yeah, you know, like I said. If you ain't for Alex and Noah, don't comment. I mean, you, you can post your comments. You can post your comments. But you already know what it is. You know, if you don't like them together, and you can definitely voice your opinion, that is what it is. But this video is about celebrating them, uh, celebrating people living in, living in their truth. And I'm just glad they did that because so many of us walk around um, a prisoner to our own truth because we'd rather 
act on the lies that someone else believe about us. So, you know, I'm like, you know, I, I remember being in that place and just being free from all of that mess. Like, I don't care what nobody think about me. I don't care what anyone says. I live within my truth. I love my perspectives. I love my opinions. I love uh, conversing with those that may even think a little different than me. Um, I, I do because then it made me think a little bit deeper. So I'm just, I'm, I'm, y'all know how I am. I'm just excited. Thank you for everybody that comment, everybody that subscribe. I look forward to talking to y'all every week. I really, really do. Um, and you know, like I always say, um, I holler at y'all next week, and y'all be safe out there.